Gonna have a normal beer. Just yeah, general good vibe so far. Had a bit. Hey, <laughs> hey buddy. Well, 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 good morning from gray and coldish Sweden. We arrived at this um, cabin yesterday night, I think around six. We had a bit of a fall yesterday, ruptured the other tank back, hit the grass, broke something. Do something stupid every night or irresponsible make a wrong decision late in the day and then i think about that like all night and panic about it then i need to like get myself back together and in the morning i always feel like oh i shouldn't have done that and then it gets warmer during the day and i enjoy myself and i get all this bravado and i start going and going and going and then yesterday i was like i was like ramming down that trail i was like super excited and I... So that was really annoying. Today is day five. We are heading to Stockholm, which is a short two hour drive. Hopefully to have a little lunch there. Maybe visit the Yamaha Center. So that's what today is going to be like. Drive for two hours, head into Stockholm. Hopefully it will clear up a bit. Won't be too wet. Be on the boat to Estonia at 4.30. So now I'm going to go try and fix the bike. See if the girl still starts after all the water. Whoa. Good morning from well, it's almost afternoon. Day five. You're gonna have to trust me. Start of a new day. Where are we at? It's Wednesday. So it's day five? Uh, see, I don't even know. 1350 kilometers. Day. Set, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, day five. The whole reason I got this little clocky thing, you could see what time it was. Well, the rain has taken another casualty. And the other situation we have right now is that my phone isn't charging cable i hope it's the cable i hope it's not the phone a few moments later and now it seems to work kind of has to it's my only mode of navigation so after yesterday's little fuck up i decided that today is going to be a bit easier and um we are just gonna how do you say it? I tail it to that Yamaha dealer. Quite the dramatic road. Car from the rocks. We're on the final stretch in Sweden. I'm a little bit sad. Because yeah, a few things are wrong, but this country it's so beautiful. Whew. I mean, we're in an industrial part of the city right now. I mean, look at it. Jesus. It's just still so very beautiful. Thank you. 
pouring hair. Random bucket in fit. Catching a ferry to Tallinn. Hello. There she is. No wheelies here. Slippery, slippery. I thought it was a sauna. Sauna, it's deck two. Deck two? Yes. From the Baltic Queen. We are on deck five. And there's a sauna. On deck two. Okay, quick. So there is a lot of old people on this boat. Hello. Vodka energy. Woo. Can I have a normal beer? Because the, this place goes crazy at night. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? Thank you. The and on the weekends it goes crazy, but today is Wednesday. All right. Thank you. In about um, 20 minutes. In about 20 minutes. We are currently still in Stockholm. It's a 16-hour boat ride. It is uh, 5 p.m. now. Okay, so we, we just had Estonian, now we want English, and now, now we're doing Swedish, I think. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so that took a minute. Um, they just announced a lot of stuff in Swedish, Estonian, and English, but the big uh, news is that there is <laughs> the big news is that there is live music on deck 7 we are going to deck 7 there's also a raffle you need to be there because tonight at 10 there will be a big draw and a big prize uh, yeah so live music in deck 7 let's check that out super awesome fade to black <laughs> Live music, guitar duo Spain.
Alrighty. We are in Estonia. Estonia! Look at these old school trams. Maybe we shouldn't go immediately outside. Maybe have a look at like the old town. a voiceover oh. with some fun facts about yeah well we're not gonna make this Well, about Tallinn, of course, for Tallinn is a city with ancient runes and a firm grip on the future. It is a place where the most advanced digital society in the world thrives among medieval architecture and centuries-old traditions. Home to cultural and historical gems as well as modern marvels, Estonia's capital is sure to surprise you. Now let me surprise you with some fun facts because Tallinn was built in the 13th century by crusading German knights. The town hall pharmacy has been in business for over 500 years okay, and in bye the bye year 1422 bye bye they invented marzipan in this same very old town hall pharmacy. Church. We just had a little visit at Yamaha here in Tallinn. We fixed the windscreen uh, added a little screw, which has been gone for a while. Um, so that's all, all good. And we got to stock up on some supplies. Get some water. It's not really sunny. There has been some rain here. Because the roads are wet. So it will be interesting to see what the conditions are on these roads, on these tracks. Because we are a little bit heavy, we are a little bit packed and I did a lot of research by Sweden and Norway so I know what those roads were going to be like and I felt very confident about those. And now I don't know. So we're on to the great unknown. So yeah. I have this feeling down in my belly. And I can't really put my finger on it. That's too why and I'm telling you this and this bird flies out. I mean come on! Why does this always happen? Oh, and the tracks are a little bit wet. But the temperature is 21 degrees. All right, Mr. Bird. I guess we listen to the signs of the birds. And we just take things slowly. Don't be reckless. along the Estonian Tet and if it becomes too technical if it becomes too difficult just drop the base
drone flights. And now we are looking for a little place to have some lunch. Got the chicken. The car behind me almost hit the drone. From uh, Amsterdam. From Amsterdam. Yeah. You? Estonia. I'm a local. I'm Stein. Uh, I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. I'm, in, uh, I'm riding also. So I oh, nice. Tet, so oh, cool. Yeah, I'm driving the Tet as well. Okay. You live near here? Yes. Okay. How long have you been riding? Uh, six days. Six days, okay. <laughs> and, uh, okay. And where we started? Uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam? Yeah. Okay. You drove here and... You do the car or bike? Uh, the same, itinerary. Oh, nice. Uh, you know, Estonian jet group. What? If you have any problems, uh, we have uh, in Facebook, you can um, search for Jet Estonia. Yeah, I know. And if you have any problems right there, I think we have uh, good people everywhere. I hope no problems. And the track gets interesting in 15 kilometers. From here? Yeah. Okay. Nope. Not doing that. The guy that almost hit the drone. And away we go. He says it'll get more technical, more difficult. We'll see, we'll see. But so far it is, it's nice. It's 24 degrees. The sun is out, the roads are, well they've been rained upon. So they're not too dusty, which is great. And just, yeah, general good vibe so far. Had a bit of a wobble. But uh, being able to Fly the drone, drive in the sunshine. That's really the good stuff. <sighs> First sort of water crossing. Don't want to drop the bike there. <laughs> also don't want to get her stuck in here. Fuck me. Nope. Not doing that. We're gonna go this way. Keep one feet on air
nobody here to see except my ego. <laughs> Get stuck in the mud just to stay on the route. I think we did about maybe 50 kilometers of off roading today, and I'm really starting to feel it. Like we're approaching. A normal road which is a site for sore bones oh, oh that is nice fuck me I mean, I like the rough stuff, but Jesus, it takes a toll. Well, that was a very interesting little pit stop. Look, one's over there and one's over there. And I only saw this one from the road because I saw <laughs> he was using it to cut these hedges. He's got all these Soviet military shells here. That's nuts. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hello. How are you? How are you? He's riding cars. Hey, motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yamaha. <laughs> nice. Same as mine. Yeah. Wow. It's like a real man cave. <laughs> if something is broken with my motorcycle, I come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Dude. <laughs> There's a generator there. You can put the motorcycle in here. And here you can sleep and... Uh... There's lights on and <laughs> everything. That is nuts. This is more tools in a car than I have in my house. So this is like old, old Soviet? Yes, very old Soviet. It's okay with the dirty boots? Yeah. Whoa, dude. <laughs> so you use it to go on any adventures? Yes. Camping? A little bit, yes. Summer things. So the story there is a uh, old uh, vehicles coming together cool. like a meeting yeah meeting does it run oh you start it <laughs>
thank you so much. Do you have an uh, email? Yeah. What a place. Rock is back. It's uh, 6 o'clock right now. We've got 15 minutes to go. Looks like nobody's home. But these showers work. This also works.